That was fantastic. Oh, it's so in now. Where did it come from down here? Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay guys, so we're trying to kill a little bit of time. Um, I'm still not very hopeful with the crashing waves. One reason is, uh, I must have looked at the wrong day with the time, tide tables, but it's not high tide till six o'clock. So unless we get some crashing waves at sort of half past four-ish, I don't think we're gonna get them. But, well, I'm gonna wait till that time anyway. Um, I think sunset's around five-ish, five, probably ten past five, something like that. So I've got till then. Um, but the waves are quite. I suppose it's quite rough. Um, I'm not sure how rough rough's going to be. Okay, then, but I'm going to get this jetty anyway. I'm going to do a long exposure of this jetty here, um, and I've just parked just up the road. Uh, is this concrete man-made thing must be a pipe going into the uh, under this concrete so I'm just gonna see if I can make some sort of image out of this and uh, like I say just really to kill a bit of time Cooper come up this way no good there down the jetty right so um, we'll get set up it might just make for a a strange long exposure minimalistic shot so let's see okay guys I've got um, got my six stop ND grad on um, 6 stop. My six stop um, zoomy filter just to slow it down and it's given me about a 25 second exposure at f22. I'll put it to f22 um, to get that 25 seconds. So um, it's not actually a bad image really. It's quite a um, simple image with this concrete leading line going out into basically just disappearing into the sea. So. Um, yeah, it's a little bit, uh, a bit different while we wait in anyway. The fourth call, um, South Wales, and I think I made the wrong decision. Should have gone North Wales, um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens in a bit. The tide's out at the minute, so um, we've got to wait a few hours till it comes in, and uh, I'm going to pull up a little bit close to the to the arbor there and the where you get that iconic crashing wave. It is quite windy, so um, and. Uh, it looks pretty rough out there, so hopefully we can get somewhere towards the end of the day. So we've, I think Cooper decided we'll have a minute, um, but I honestly think I probably made the wrong, wrong option today. Damn. Um, it's one of because it's overcast. The only thing I've really got to photograph is any sort of crashing waves, stormy, crashing, wavy things. So, um, okay, mate. Um, so that's it, really. We, us, uh, our eggs are all in the one basket, I'm afraid. But if it doesn't happen, then it doesn't happen. We've still had a good day out, haven't we, Coops? I've 
parked up in the car park. We're still two and a half hours before, if not longer before um, high tide. And from this side, I can see the water coming over already. So we'll head up there and see what we can get. Might not, might, might not be the the most epic one, but could be a good shot. Let's go. I'm, I'm happy now. Huh? Really had like a oh no, what have I done coming all this way? And it, I'm so glad I put that effort in. I mean, it is awful, man. It's absolutely awful. Uh, uh, but without that effort, I want to say that, and I'm definitely, definitely coming back here again when it's serious weather. And we've got even more. Another storm and it suits. Oh, God, I've got brain freeze and everything. So, oh, I just can't wait to get back to the van. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you like, please, 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 please subscribe uh, and uh, follow me up. Follow me on my journeys oh, um, around the UK, trying to get some nice images. Thanks guys. See you later.